Word on the street, there was an ad millions of years ago, Maxwell House, storyline 30 seconds to a minute, and it became a long-running story about this English couple that fell in love. Should have stayed in the 90s, Quibi, right? Because this concept, quick bites, big stories, bites, the optimal word there. Dan Roberts, uh, looks like investors and Quibi are saying, see ya. Well, it just hasn't uh, gotten off from the starting gate, really. I mean, this thing launched six months ago amid the pandemic. Now, granted, that was very unlucky timing for something that at first when it launched, the videos were only viewable on mobile. And the initial premise, which you know Katzenberg and Whitman were able to raise a nice chunk of money for, was Quick Bites on the go. The idea was all the videos are under 10 minutes or all the episodes. And you know the advertising showed people at a bus stop or on the subway or at work or maybe another place where you look at your phone for a few minutes watching the videos. But then the pandemic happened, and so it launched at a time when people weren't consuming content on their phones, really. If you were going to watch a, a laid-back piece of content like a show, you were going to watch it on your couch on your TV. And in fact, for the first couple of months, you couldn't even stream Quibi to your TV. So first they had to fix that. Point being, fast forward now, the information reporting that Katzenberg has been shopping the thing around. NBC Universal Pass, Facebook Pass. Now he has tried to unload kind of the Quibi catalog. And there are rumors that the thing is likely to just shut down. Employees have scheduled farewell drinks. This is good reporting by the information. It's also not surprising. Uh, you know, now I wouldn't be shocked if someone comes along and buys this thing. The question is, how low will it go? Because lots of VCs <clears throat> with money to throw at the wall at any tech thing are willing to do it if they think that eventually it could uh, pick back up again. And Look, after the pandemic, when people are back on the go, maybe, but most remarkable is you still see headlines about new shows being picked up for Quibi. I mean, there's a whole uh, ESPN Sports Center for Quibi. Boy, I don't know what all those people, the talent involved in doing those Quibi shows will do if it shuts down. But none of this is very shocking.